After my previous video, a couple of you asked how I actually set up the Echo Dot home theater voice control cancel. So I thought I'd make another video here and uh, try to show you uh, how easy this actually is. It's really not that complicated. So first of all, you just want to get one of these Harmony hubs. I got mine on eBay for about $50. All right, so once you have that and obviously the Echo Dot, here's the Harmony hub. Okay, it just needs power and it also has an IR, IR emitter that's going right there and that sends a signal to the television. You're going to need that and pretty much anywhere you place it, it will be able to send the signal. So it, it apparently bounces them off whatever it can and in this setup, just right there, it's able to hit the Xbox and the uh, receiver even though... Um, it's uh, above it and behind it a little bit, so that's pretty uh, pretty simple. Your setup may vary, but that's how it works in mine. And I'm going to show you how I have it in my bedroom here, so you can see another example. All right, so here's another example of how I have the Harmony Hub set up. It's right in there. You can see it here. It's kind of dark. Here it is. All right. And in this case, right there, it's able to hit the Xbox 360, and I have an Apple TV right there. I'll show you real quick. Alexa, trigger Apple TV. Sending that to it. There you can see it working. It's sending the signal to the Apple TV and the uh, Boston Acoustic subwoofer. It has a remote right behind it, that green light that turned on, but there it is. But there, same thing, right? You just have to put it in there so it hits the other components and the IR emitter that can send the signal to the television. The next step would be to set up your activities in the Harmony app. Right here, I'm going to show you an example show you what I have. So first of all, in my case I have two hubs and I can switch back and forth. Right, so depending where I am I can do the bedroom or the living room. Right. So as you saw just right now before uh, in the bedroom just uh, I have two activities for the Xbox Watch TV or for the Apple TV, Apple TV. And over here you can see the devices involved in that particular setup in the bedroom. And then I'll switch. I have three activities. You can see those in my previous video. But one for the Echo when I'm speaking to Echo and I want to hear it throughout the speakers. One for the Xbox and another one when I want to use the Chromecast on the uh, Vizio. So each activity will set the correct inputs for all the devices involved. You'll have to set that up beforehand and these are the devices that are involved in this uh, particular hub in the living room. So once you have your activity set up you can test them out using this app or a remote if you have that you can see make sure they're working first there and once they're working you can set up the Amazon skill using the Alexa app right here if you only want have one hub, you should probably just go with this. It's the, I haven't used it myself because I have more than one hub. So, so for Harmony, there it is. Currently in December of 2016, and it has two and a half stars. So uh, you can test that out on your own. I have not used it, but that's how you would add it and uh, how Alexa would integrate that way. Or in my case, we can use Ift over here. Oops. Right here. So using Ift, which stands for if this then that, as most of you surely know if you're watching this. Uh, first, you would have to uh, create an account and connect whatever services you want to have available. So, for example, if I wanted to connect my Twitter, I would choose Twitter, connect, and it would start the whole process of linking the Twitter to this account. I'm not going to do it right now. All you have to do is set up one of these uh, IFT activities, right? So 
For example, we would go here to the plus symbol and then we would say, we would start with us saying something to Alexa. So we look for Alexa. It would be a specific phrase. So here's when you choose the trigger word. For example, Xbox One or Apple TV or television, whatever you want. So let's say it's uh, television, which I already have. So I'll say television, televisions. And then that's the, tr the beginning part of it. And then the that part, if I say, so the if part is if I say to Alexa, trigger televisions, what is what do I want it to do, right? It could be anything, but in this case, we just want it to be an activity on the Harmony. So we look for Harmony, which also you would have already linked to your if account. And in this case, it can only do two things, either turn things on or off, or it can also uh, start certain activities, right? So, and you can switch between one activity and the other without having to turn it on or off. So let's go to start activity and maybe we would want it to, let's say, I have these already preset, right? The different activities that I've set up. So any of these I could choose to be triggered. So maybe watch television in the bedroom would become the one that's triggered by saying Alexa trigger television. So hit next. So there you go. Once it completes the process, it will be an existing activity or applet as they call it in IFT. And from now on, whenever I tell uh, Alexa, it doesn't matter which Alexa it is, if it's the one on the Fire TV, the one in the bedroom, whichever one it is connected to your account, it will trigger this and communicate with the Harmony so that uh, we'll get the desired uh, result as you see in the, the demos in the, the previous uh, demos in the video before this one. So I hope that is uh, useful to uh, everybody out there that's uh, setting this up. It's really not that complicated and uh, it's a very uh, intuitive and simple way to uh, control your home theater, right? You're not going to use any physical remotes either if uh, you don't want to. I don't in my case. Uh, I'll just use my same mobile device. So thank you once again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'm pretty good about responding. Hit the like if you like the video. If you don't like it, hit the dislike. Let me know why you didn't like it. And once again, thank you for watching.